मरह पीण नटवर बपु कर्ण यो कर्ण चिंतय चिन्मय भासम नूतन जलधर रुचिर विकासम पीत बसन धर सुंदर नटवर मधुर विकस्वर सुंदर हासम तो 
धनी वृंदावन धाम है धनी वृंदावन राम धनी वृंदावन रज जन जो मेरत राधे श्या जय जय श्री राधा रमण तो जय जय नवल किशोर गोपी चित छो जय जय मां छोर गोविंद जय जय मेरो गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय मेरो गोपाल राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय राधा रमण की चरण शरण गे राधा रमण सल भव मोचन शरणागत वत्सल मोचन भक्ति युक्त हो करिए दर्शन भक्ति युक्त हो करिए दर्शन दूर हो सबता आप दूर हो सबता राधा रमण की चरण शरण विन राधा रमण सुंदर लीला मधुर रसमयी सुंदर समय समय की आस्वादन कर समय समय की आस्वादन कर जागे हृदय बीच प्रेमांकुर जागे हृदय बीच
मात्र देवो भव द वन हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग फर्स्ट इज मदर पितृदेव भव एंड फादर टेक्स केयर देन चाइल्ड गोज टू स्कूल गुरुदेवो भव द टीचर इज ब्रिंगिंग डिफाइनिंग अल्फाबेट्स फॉर द चाइल्ड एंड देव देवो भव एंड स्कूल इज ओवर then other things which is not taught in the school a person is searching where he will get it in a yoga school yoga school that's why you joined the course because what is not available is available in yoga school dev devo bhava through the yoga which is involved is involving the intellect the emotions and the bodily the physical actions all three it's not limited to just asana and pranayama because the situation is this that human being that there is a mold of classical orthodox mold but human humanity has taken detour i don't want to fit in this mold well the humanity sometimes says is now this is my interest to to come out of this mold or the break mold, break the mold <clears throat> but trying to break the orthodox mold is another mold being a follower is one mold and not to follow is another mold so dharma kam sharanam gatah so where is the place where this is without a mold no because human human being himself is in the solar clock program of this body's mold he has to eat this is one mold the sleep another mold entertain another mold worry for tomorrow another mold one cannot escape it one cannot escape one can escape escape four days meal but one cannot escape four days going to toilet there's another mold so something which is called ego now this is something which blocks the blocks human being to accept what is not what is orthodox what is classical the ego blocks it because through the years human being got educated and many physical situations the physical situation is very high today capacity of human brain but side by side ego also rose so i can do this i can do this i can do this i can do this but when to remove loneliness he cannot do that people become rich then i make a dining table with 50 chairs and the man is living alone in his house <laughs> but he calls 50 friends because he lonely so <clears throat> so this is this is one side the way to where to live alone and not feel lonely the no school teaches this ati yogaanu shasanam therefore the mold of yoga one one way to live this life is experiment if if there is let's say 80 years 90 years 
body is quiet in function so i go on experimenting how you can deny you can reject the classical yoga yoga postures pranayam you can reject no problem but then one has to find alternative i will find my own asanas but that will take a lot of time because you see the, to bring one medicine in the market takes so many 20 years maybe then it comes for human being so it's being said that if you want to say om correctly you will need you will need 12 years then you can maybe correctly say om or maybe not if you want to tune violin one string it will take 12 years and how many are there four five strings 60 years are gone in tuning vinyl violet chena to tum hi tum hi ho jaai but tuning learning to tune violin itself is going towards divine because you're going near the perfection you're going near perfection but when it is perfectly tuned it will the string will break but just next to it or tuning tuning a drum tuning violin guitar any other instrument tuning tuning itself is the ocean of music because <clears throat> when a teacher is teaching music to the student he is locating where the student is out of pitch He's just correcting the pitch. So, <clears throat> to to master one thing, not master just to learn twelve years. How many asanas there? Pranayama is there. So many other yogic techniques. One lifetime, ten lifetimes, not enough. And the thing is that if you know, there's there's no word in this life like search. There's only word research. university phd this research search search is done the search is done for human human being the earth is there all the five air five kind of fire seven type of element uh, metal everything is there then all the herbs are there the plants are there everything then this advanced body is there then the human head is there because it cannot be more of a miracle than this human body search is there now what science can do clone you know make a dog which looks like a zebra or make a zebra which looks like a dog you know so put a head of frog on dog Like imagine if the dog is start of barking saturday night you cannot sleep and if it receives the head of frog how can you keep a dog because it will speak 24 hours can you speak frog can you stop frog no so this is fusion in music also everything is given this is classical mold this is given that's everything is fusion infusion there is that this kind of but if you say music it's done everything is there classical mold but ego blocks ego blocks in accepting something is preset because person think what is my creativity what is my creativity there are only seven notes in music you know seven and the person says no i will find eighth not there so this is very complicated block it in human life the ego the more the person is learn it the more he is rejecting the orthodoxy the mold the classical reject 
but it is in his benefit being being intelligent will be not to lose time and have light on your cheeks your cheeks are shiny mind is calm body is functioning this is the result everybody wants whether you went to oxford or not what does it matter no. whether you go to gym or not whether 10 million people are following on insta or not it doesn't matter yavad jeevet sugham jeevet all these factors are contributing to feel lonely because man got up and he saw his insta and the followers were zero in the morning life is finished <laughs> well this is one app i know other apps i don't know other sab no so many are there you know i don't know <clears throat> so to to create being alone and not feel alone not feel lonely this is necessary that what orthodox mold gives is 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 working towards this a person can be lonely can, cannot be lonely he can be alone no problem because this is alienation feeling alienated no feeling not heard no feeling not understood no these are the issues and which are developing into many complex issues in human life multiply multi- multiplying so therefore this is very necessary to put the ego in the back pocket and become selfish in the right way i live for myself what others are doing i mean i may not follow why because maybe it's not in my benefit to cut through in life trends and friends is very difficult to cut through friends and trends this is very difficult but human being can take the shelter of yogic means yoga or the orthodoxy or the classical and that will give a strength aap hitam kuryat so the man a human being can do can can invoke all the all the means of real well being for himself because in life there are two things reason and result the reason is should be used only to understand something more clearly clarity but result is some something that which is wanted all the time like shine on your cheeks mind is stable body is functional and you have satisfaction in your chest the decoration of your chest is satisfaction because satisfaction lives there so the classical mold invokes our real element which is satisfaction atma ramo bhavati means just now you come out of your body and look at yourself that you look at yourself that you have no expectation in your life that you are not jealous na dveshati you are not jealous of anybody no sahi bhavati if your things are done you not you don't jump high and things are not done you don't fall down also atma ramo bhavati you are in yourself this is something is this is more of a workout than going to gym the people go to gym i've seen you know they have body like king kong and muscles and six app seven app on their stomach and everything but but we look in their face there's no life and so much of aggression in the body so that king kong has to come you know so aggression aggression somebody has to you know so but it's not real workout because the workout is with the ego 
the the workout with with the guy who is blocking our real happiness everlasting happiness workout is there but in the middle friends come and trends come this is very difficult so therefore <clears throat> dhriti dhriti means that hold on to the yogic philosophy because that will enable a person to cut through the current in the river is very high but you hold on to something it takes you other side no so similarly for this human being also this is sadhana sadhana means some something is taking me other side meri naiya kinare se laga do maasuri जगा दो बासुरी वाले देर फोर ए प्रेयर ए शॉट इन द अनोन द टेक माई बोट फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू अदर साइड कटिंग थ्रू द स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंट दैट्स हाउ द प्रेयर्स केम इन टू बींग बिकॉज अ ह्यूमन बींग इज बींग बींग डांस्ड अराउंड बाई greed by ego and by false attachment and by anger these are the pers- these are the things making a person dance and a person is dancing in his own well with these five things four things how to come out of it somebody has throw a rope somebody evacuate then only a person can come out of well otherwise he cannot come out so all this time a person spends with scripture and yogic sadhana everything is actually the rope has come hold on to it it will take you out it will take everybody out because everybody is in that in that coop in that well everybody because the diamond is there but it needs to be polished and shaped which is every human being but the sadhana pattern is that right cutting and right polishing so atma ramo bhavati that shine comes from within called satisfaction there are four kinds of wealth in life one is money another is your beauty physical beauty you know <clears throat> the third thing is your children your your money your wealth is children your physical beauty and the money in your pocket and the fourth is satisfaction but the thing is that it is not heard in history till today that anybody is satisfied with one's own beauty because one more beautiful is sitting there and everybody is getting less beautiful every day in everybody's life that day is going to come where person will skip mirror will not go through the mirror so beauty does not bring satisfaction children also parent think our oh, child should behave like this that you know again so many problems and nobody is satisfied ever with money what they have so satisfaction is a separate area which is the element of human being it either it is invoked or it is hiding if it is not invoked it is hiding but it is there because the logic is something is not previously cannot appear later on also out of nothing something will never come govind jay jay mero gopal jay jay mero radha so mother teaches something father teaches something and a teacher in the school teaching a for apple dev devo bhava but when a for apple is not making meaning for human being then scripture comes a for anand 
So it is very necessary to keep a Sanskrit dictionary into your language. French, German, this, that. It is available there. And every day read one word, def definition of one word in Sanskrit. Just from me, from back, from where, 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 whichever page you open. One word. Then you see the one word is given five layers of meaning. Five layers. And we stop at first layer. First layer we stop. Like for example, compassion. Karuna. Now you read it in Sanskrit dictionary. Now you read definition of Shanti. Let's say for example, peace. In English, English dictionary will say that peace, peace means two, two parties were fighting, then now they are not fighting. This is NGO definition. Two parties were fighting, now they are not fighting. But when you open a Sanskrit dictionary, it will say, that the satisfaction is being invoked inside human being. It has five layers and corresponding to the age also of human being, which one meaning, one layer, which is fourth level maybe, will not understand this age of 35, but as the age is advancing, it will understand, he will understand it more and more. Unique, the Sanskrit, Definition of a word is unique and a person will never find meaninglessness in his life. Let's say that being lonely. A person says, I, don't, I did not used to feel lonely so much, now I feel lonely. Sanskrit will say, this is very good, very good symptom. You don't want to listen to others, you know, don't know, jumping around and this and that. The scripture will say this is the time when soul wants to speak up. Till yesterday, mind wanted to speak, brain wanted to speak. But mind has explored life, brain has explored life. And what they found is just chewing gum, chewing gum. Taste for some time, it goes. Rest of the time, you just chew or chew to reduce stress. Because one has to chew something, one has to chew on something, nothing to chew upon, chew on in the brain, so chew the chingam. So, <clears throat> loneliness, the soul wants to speak. But if you ask a friend, does just just want to be alone and this and that, maybe a friend will say, oh, you're depressed. You're not interested in the regular, common, normal activities of life. You're depressed. But it's not depressed. It's the most healthy symptom. Now there's a transition as soul wants to speak because the soul is the light. Suddenly there are the light goes in the room and you want to reach the candle, how will you reach? You will reach by touch, you will, you will touch the wall and you will reach candle. If there is no light, you see by touch. If there is no touch, then you, then you know the direction by sound. It came from behind or front or left or right. But if there is no light, if there is no touch, if there is no sound, how do we see? Soul. There is a time soul guides. When you are sad and when you are lonely and when you haven't got a friend just think that that is not the end. It's a very famous western song but I just destroyed the tune. <laughs> because the tune is not important here, the words are. Well, sometimes words are more important, sometimes tunes. You, know, you go to a rock concert, what the singer is saying, nobody knows. 
but the rhythm and tune the rhythm rock is everybody rocking but when is frank sinatra singing you know, his <laughs> then his words other philosophical singers also this this singer is also very philosophical but he wrote this song 60 years ago seven maybe like that so just think that that is not the end if it is not the end it is the beginning of what well it is the beginning of dialogue with soul now you see in a in a very advanced country there's a new tradition of solo marriage people go to church or and the priest gives a ring to the person and says wear it yourself and the priest says i i announce you married you just have to say i marry myself and the government gives certificate that the person is married solo marriage it's called solo marriage but this is already from india thousands of years back but just a little bit different in wording that i marry my soul i marry my soul because what what else is there to marry because the body you know futuristic the scripture is very philosophy means scripture is very futuristic means if you look at at this body 100 years from now it will be only you know the bones hanger will be there shirt will go the flesh this is this is shirt and the collar bones are made so the it can you know carry the shirt bones will remain shirt will go so to marry this hanger the one who can see in depth what is being futuristic futuristic is what is going to happen and this is on mind of everybody what is going to happen do you know what is going to ha- happen to me tomorrow everybody is thinking the once upon a time uh, at a busy traffic junction a person was traveling on a scooter and it was a yellow scooter and he was wearing all white clothes nicely you know like your yellow t-shirt white attire and yellow scooter so he stopped at the red signal and suddenly from behind a car comes and stops just 2 inches behind so this man parked the scooter and came to the driver and he said if your car would have hit my scooter what would have happened so the driver said sir i didn't hurt, hit you it's all right you know forget he said no 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 tell me if your car hit my scooter when he asked 10 times then the driver also got angry and he came out you know and he was a big german guy <laughs> this this driver and the scooter man was a little not so strong so he comes out and he said that you really want to know if my car hit you what would have happened he said that your head would have gone to italy <laughs> your legs would have gone to france one to germany and your middle part would have gone to space that what that's what would have happened <laughs> but that's what will happen anyway <laughs> whether there is accident or no accident it doesn't matter you know that's what is going to happen we will think of going left we will go right we will think of saying chocolate we'll say coffee this is where the body is going and to marry this body i marry my soul that was the ceremony of sanyas renunciation 
and this is means i marry myself to this point already the situation is there and you see within few years i marry my soul this is the next priest will say now you say i marry my soul i announce you married because whom we belong to we belong to something which is everlasting shiny which is with all wisdom with all stability all peace all fulfillment a person wants to get married to that situation but that is there inside everybody's real identity and if a person has no ego and understands this with open head there is no loneliness ever govind jay jay mero Gopal Jai Otherwise think about others Don't think about others Let, Let's take yourself Singularly That all the five senses will leave And mind will feel so lonely The loneliness Otherwise it is developing here But if it is soul is there Then mind and soul Eternal companion That is where Actually the settlement That's where the life Actually is Let's chant for two minutes now. Param Dhan Radha Jai Radha Jai Radha Param Dhan Radha Jai Radha तो देव देव वो भव द अल्टीमेट स्कूल फॉर दिस ह्यूमन बींग इज बिटवीन डिवाइन एंड हिमसेल्फ ऑल बिटवीन सोल a source of life and him or herself so scripture is something which really defines life and makes life meaningful and produces the purpose of human being so that it becomes very attractive and as life goes it becomes more attractive so there is a sage called vyas supposed to be the writer of divine and he wrote the first scripture veda veda means where there is all knowledge about everything then after veda came, comes the second scripture called upanishad that when a person will have all the out of knowledge then the focus will, will go inside what is my situation what is my role in life what is my purpose what is my nature what is my element so किं वा भागवता धर्मान प्रायण निरूपिता प्रिया वरम हंसा तेव ही अच्युत प्रिया वन डे एवरीबडी विल गेट फेड अप टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ऑफ दिस बॉडी लेट से सो ए पर्सन विल से एम आई जस्ट ए मेंटेनेंस मेकर ऑफ दिस लाइफ वो एम आई सो दैन he is sitting with himself upanishad the second upanishad means to sit with yourself inquire about yourself inquire into the nature of yourself koyam and a scripture is something which starts the dialogue and finishes it also it does not let a person hang in at uncertainty that find your own answer who am i koyam who am i and the answer is given i am atma i am soul sachidanand rupaya 
and that soul is of the nature of bliss and light and all knowledge so that becomes the element of a human being i am light i am all wisdom i am all bliss i am not this ever dying body upanishad after upanishad comes the book of ramayan the ramayan is enactment of yoga sutras because otherwise very difficult to follow or to swallow but in a story form it becomes very easy in the book of ramayana there is a story short that <clears throat> prince ram as a child and in his balcony in his palace he used to eat some pudding every day morning for breakfast and this crow used to fly and land at that at that balcony and ram used to eat everything and give little bit to the crow it was happening years after years but one day ram stopped did not give a crow any more pudding so crow thought maybe he forgot second day third day fourth day 10 days and he is looking at the crow but not leaving anything from him so crow thinks maybe i did some mistake some fault some bad karma so i'm, I'm not getting this pudding so now he wants answer to this question he is hovering over the jungle and suddenly saw he is, there was a sage giving discourse so he lands at the back side of the discourse when discourse is finished then the crow walks up to the sage so sage looks at the crow and says oh my son how you have come so crow said this is the situation i am not getting pudding so can you tell me maybe it's a mistake i have done bad karma so sage said no you know not not done anything wrong the only thing is this is life's rule that for a lot of long time long period of time you will receive pudding but suddenly life will stop it then on you have to eat wisdom pudding will not make sense wisdom so sage said come every day to my discourse because now on this will carry you further so just a small story for human being also the pudding comes for a long time suddenly stops suddenly person th- looks around the things are upside down this that that but th- that is the indication that wisdom wants to come up enactment of yoga sutras book of ramayan the next book comes the great war mahabharat part of which is bhagavad gita which you are listening doing in your course gita so at this gita the lineage of scripture stopped so sage vyas which who wrote all these scriptures except ramayan the last scripture he wrote the great war and he is not satisfied so he is thinking maybe something i didn't put in this so i'm not satisfied like a person who lives his life but he says that something is lacking in the picture of my life he is sitting wondering that very moment another sage comes narad so narad looks at the face of sage vyas and says that you look very empty very dissatisfied what is the reason so sage vyas says that in great book of mahabharat i have written everything whatever possible i have written everything tathapi natma paritushyate me still my soul is not shining like today's story like mind wise brain wise a person so much engaged in life today but in the chest satisfaction is not shining soul is not shining so now sage narad is telling sage vyas that you are a writer writer is very responsible and he should not just write everything and you wrote this violence dominant act and people will read it and they will find their own 
convenient characters and those convenient characters selfish characters will take the reader away with them who will become arjun in this who listens to wisdom and he changes his thinking and then whatever wisdom says he does it this is the most difficult part it means you can do charity of your <clears throat> clothes and money and this and leave everything but thinking because person say my thinking goes i am finished this is what i am so nobody nobody will be attracted to this character and in this great war you have described the affluence and the influence and the physical power of the source of life or god but his love you have not described na yadva chitrapadam harir yasho jagad pavitram pragranit garhe chit tad vayasam dirdham shanti manasa na yatra hansa nirmantu shikshaya so please write another scripture simplify veda upanishad ramayan yoga sutras and mahabharat take all the violent parts away and simplify this book of gita also in the middle of that put the soul of this life which is love consciousness where krishna comes with a flute see this is the classical altar so you are looking there is a flute once upon a day krishna is standing in the jungle and he's singing song so the goddess of learning saraswati passes by and listening to that voice she falls in love she goes stands nearby and trying to attack attract his attention but love divine is not giving any attention so waiting waiting for that attention in waiting she becomes like a bamboo many many yogis meditation for divine they turn into bamboo they turn into trees many turn into mountains so when she turn into bamboo then love divine notices and picks up that bamboo and turns that bamboo into flute the whole whole body of the knowledge is now used to 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 put in the notes of harmony through that body manalo man ko murli sha like you see this our body which is full with biology chemistry physics but the sound from throat is not coming in harmoniously is not good for that body is not not good for other body also all the biology chemistry physics will be successful if the purpose is harmony from this throat govind jay jay mero gopal jay निष्कर्मच्युत भावर्जित न शोभते ज्ञानमल निरंजन वेदर द पर्सन इज इग्नोरेंट और हाईली एजुकेटेड इट डजेंट मैटर बट फ्रॉम बोथ द थ्रोट्स द साउंड ऑफ हारमोनी शुड कम आउट इफ ए वेरी एजुकेटेड पर्सन टॉक इग्नोरेंटली the education system inside failed if a ignorant person doesn't need how, doesn't know how to read and write but speak harmony worthwhile contributing to the situation the whole creation is successful when notes of harmony are coming flowing out from this throat 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे Perfectly you are practicing yoga asan perfectly you are observing the pranayam perfectly you are living the philosophy of your uh, yoga through the ttc manual that means you have offered your body like a float in the hands of love divine that's what is happening but if we are stiff in our sadhana that means offering is not complete is something blocking but it is better is a better option anyway that the love divine takes the notes through our body out is using our body our existence or individuals existence like float notes of our being going out is better love divine plays this body than ego plays is better option hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari so one day the sage narad is telling the sage vyas what philosophy to put in which is soul of life so he says one day krishna and radha so krishna is asking radha what we should do today so radha said we will play a game we will play a game that i will get upset and you try to please me like today human being is playing it every day but for divine it is some day no everybody is master in one thing sulking you know this you know this word sulking even the dog is sulking one a cat is sulking but human being has made himself more capable to recognize the sulking of dog than sulking of human being a human being immediately can recognize cat is sulking but the other fellow being living by the side upset but you can see you can locate the cat is sulking but i'm sulking for last two months you cannot see anyway so radha says that i will get upset you please me So Krishna is saying that can you give me a hint that how you will get pleased? She said, she said no. That's that's your purushar means that is your research. How will I get pleased? Now Krishna is trying from morning till evening, but Radha with a stiff face sitting there. So it is old times war rule that when evening time surrender no war. sunset time peace not like today so when sunset came the krishna surrender he says that means i have so much of power and i used all my power i run this world from through my power but all that power could not please you now i don't have anything more to please you he surrendered when he surrendered the love smiled because the smile the love is smile surrender dominant is looking for surrender das to tihare aur udas to tihare hai oh love divine that i am arrogant or i am humble i am foolish or i am beautiful or ugly or whatever but i am yours please blow the notes of harmony through my through my existence through my physical existence paras paras gun av gun nahi chit ve there's something called magic stone 
magic stone you give a touch to a metal it will turn it into gold but the magic stone is not looking for eligibility whether the metal surface is clean or not so sage narad gave a hint to sage vyas the writer that this is the dialogue you know in life the dialogue is that the dialogue is a karma that which you speak and the speak speaking itself is the fruit because this life is going too much in rajas gun give and take you know balance sheet account i did this much how much other person did but it cannot be applied everywhere there is some corner in life has to be where 2 and 2 is not 4 it can be 6 it can be 8 do aur do ka jod hamesha char kaha hota hai soch samajh walon ko to दानी दे मोला ए प्रेयर समबडी रोट दैट ओ डिवाइन इन दिस लाइफ 2 एंड 2 ऑलवेज शुड नॉट कोरेस्पोंड टू 4 दिस इज टू एयर टाइट वाटर टाइट दिस इज टू लॉजिकल लाइफ डजंट रन लाइक दैट so bless bless this world and especially human being that where he can bend down to any level to remove his ego this 2 and 2 4 is not letting him govind jay jay gopal jay jay radha raman hari govind when we speak harmony we got all the reward no when if see harmony then there is no waiting for the reaction action itself is reaction the earth the so dialogue this human being cannot be without dialogue and dialoguing only harmony so all this science physical this biology physics chemistry is made so it contributes to this if doesn't contribute to this the human being's ego is blocking because the science is not blocking the harmony but the ego is blocking you know so sage vyas made this new book book of bhagavatam which has the assimilation of all the other scriptures plus the dialogue of harmony the dialogue of love consciousness in this book there are 10 topics the first is that you we are sitting on this ground this is lap of divine and there are five six types of bodies second topic one body which which is which can be produced by mental powers another body which is half female half male another body which is not male and female or otherwise one body which she has received through the homa spiritual blessings one body which after mating man and woman produce and another body undesired third topic in bhagavatam is about how many solar systems and galaxies are there fourth very important that in a in the eyes of a human being the shine comes and never goes away the shine comes never goes away so bhagavatam says the shine in the eyes are connected to that every human being is searching a li- am i accepted as i am this is, this is difficult because yoga sutra already says that the situation will not react the same way everywhere if somebody accept you somebody doesn't you know स्वदेशे पूज्यते राजा विद्वान सर्वत्र पूज्यते ए किंग हैज यस मिनिस्टर इन हिज ओन कंट्री 
not in other countries you know situation will not react the same way that for that king in another country but a person who is peaceful the situation will react to him everywhere in this world he is the king of the world vidwan sarvatra puchate one who is knowledgeable of intelligence the symptom of being knowledgeable and intelligence is that after all the knowing he has become very humble like a blade of grass that person to that person the situation will react very accepting type everywhere yoga sutra is a override on yoga sutra because yoga sutra is stuck on this the situation will not react the same way everywhere but when <clears throat> yatna abhyasen vidyaya when with effort and practice a person is bringing is is working towards humbleness the scripture says the learnedness should make you humble well the many many things come in between you know this body you know this name you know this form you, you know what you have there are so many mis identities they are they are taken away what remains is a humble blade of grass with effort and practice this identity is practice situation for humble will react the same way everywhere every day hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari so the book of bhagavatam says the do not search for acceptance outside come in reality the giver of your life sitting in your heart accepts you as you are if your mood is good not good you feeling this way that way you ate this that way you are you can perform you cannot perform you can you are physically achieved person not achieved person whatever but divine accepting through the heart so we and the divine in our heart this is a complete union you know is a complete union actually the other person is 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 required in life because physically life cannot be carried by one person not possible one wife became very angry on husband so she pick up a chair and threw on the husband 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 reached court judge said what is the case lawyer said sir his wife threw a chair on him this is the case so judge said that you did you throw a chair on your husband she said yes why oh because i could not throw the table <laughs> four two people are needed you know to to shift the bed otherwise every human being is a complete set in this creation actually actually the two are just to carry on the physical situations in life for children to whatever else but inside i am accepted as i am a person who realizes this becomes a yogi in life he will be on that path and you will see when he is 90 years old the 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 eyes will shine like bulb you know if this acceptance is not there you have to put the drop of a sparkle every half an hour in your eyes for some shine but it's not there so nutrition whatever we eat what we are surrounded and in the end the acceptance is right with the divine then the whole nutrition turns into the shine in these eyes that is where life is fifth topic in bhagavatam is that when all the 
beautiful philosophies and teachings and yoga sutras and everything that is still why a person yoga practitioner is suffering in life so bhagavatam says that the yoga has philosophy also to how to think about life how to behave what should be your ambition everything but a person does not does not touch those areas does not bring in his behavior what is being told to do that's why he does half the thing half he doesn't do the problem is still remaining ek mantra ye japte raho sham 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 मन वचन हृदय से उसकी वंदना करो आंसुओं से फूलों की अर्चना करो ए पर्सन शुड हियर द टीचिंग and to bring the teaching in your mind in your speech and in your physical karma and the situation inside will be so blissful it will come out like tears the tear of bliss from his eyes that will be his offering of flowers to life sham 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 next topic in bhagavatam is about <clears throat> expansion of time which is very big so this is being told to reduce our ego we are interested in our 5 minutes a person sitting in front of beautiful sunset and looking at his watch all the time but he forgets if that sun is not in the sky there is no watch sham 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 the next topic is when everything become old water level will rise high and everything will submerge and again next set of creation will start then there are stories in bhagavatam about devotees and they prayed to god god came in front sat on the chair and said what do you want so very important to listen because we have something a a a fish called desire inside us and as you see the fish is swimming in water with open mouth biting everything but not aware that behind one foot there is hook there is a trap and gets caught It is very necessary that this fish desire has a destination, not to bite upon or speak upon everything. So we listen, devotees. What do they want? The ninth topic in in Bhagavatam is about freedom. Bhagavatam says the freedom is freedom from craving, expectation. The scripture says that you should work for hundred percent. but 99 came 98 came 85 came whatever so say life is my friend and life said that this time you be satisfied with 85 i am happy but i am perfectionist i work for 100% but when the result comes then i am emotional that whatever friend gave i am happy but the person says i'm not emotional while i am doing i'm 100% logical perfectionist a reason and if well becomes objective and logical in the result this is very tough whole life a person will go into depression oh i work so hard i got this what will come back become emotional life is my friend this is good for me i am happy 
the 10th topic um the topic in bhagavatam is about what is our shelter one shelter is okay you know if it is uh, thunderous outside you close the window curtain the cold inside snowing heat cold whatever shelter for body but what point comes in life where shelter for body doesn't mean anything i belong to whom who is mine who understands me who is caring for me and endless so bhagavatam says the shelter for human being get connected to the source of life which is supplying me breath all the time anadi radi govind sarv karana karanam ishwara parama krishna satchida nand vigraha i belong to the source of life which is bliss bliss pure there's only light there's no darkness and it is so full that there is no need to know anything also so full like a salt statue going down in the ocean becomes ocean the ocean cannot know itself because it is all pervading hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari the shelter for human being that inside his head he invokes the connection between him and the divine कनक बेल ब्रश भानु नंदनी श्याम तमान चढ़ी रसिकनी रस में रात गड़ी रसिकनी रस में रात राधे 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 जय 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 राधे we have not come with anything and we will not go away with anything also and the journey in life is long and why to carry burden weight on our head of ego it makes the journey difficult walk free walk light without any burden without any weight on this neck kuch na sang gale ke aaye tum na kuch na sang jana dur ka safar hai fir to ye bojh kyun श्याम की शरण मया तू राधे की शरण मया चरण से जाल पट रे तेरे भव के बंध करम फंद बल में जाए कट रे give up the ego and take the shelter of the feet of harmony of love consciousness because that's where all the knots and emotions and thought and karma they will dissolve 
राधे 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 जय राधे 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 जय राधे 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 जय राधे 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 जय राधे 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 जय राधे 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 बिकॉज दिस टेकिंग द शेल्टर ऑफ द फीट ऑफ लव कॉन्शियसनेस दिस इज वेयर द वर्ड्स एंड थॉट्स which is carrying our ambition as desire and so many issue left behind like somebody puts one spoon of ice cream in your mouth and ask you how it is how is it what can you say you can't say anything you will say i'll got the ultimate there is no description with an experience where the words are left behind you can just play deaf and dumb when somebody ask you how is ice cream to reply there is a wastage of time play deaf and dumb enjoy the sweetness enjoy love consciousness radhe 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 the emergence of human body and in human body some jerk comes something a position comes second step third is how to handle the situation the shelter of a knowledgeable third situation with these three stages the story of bhagavatam is woven around so there was a king called parikshit <clears throat> and he was an opposed king so one day one day <clears throat> he told his minister that you please take out my chariot and i want to go for a drive summer time and also please go to uh, this crown room of mine where so many crown golden crowns are hanging bengi crown i want to wear the crown and go for this drive so minister said this is your private travel you don't need crown it's not official visit but king came and his ego is a no i i want crown okay he wore the crown he went to drive and in summer time he felt thirsty he searching for water he didn't get water he locates a a door of an ashram and he stands there expecting somebody will come and welcoming him inside but is jungle satvik place nobody knew there is no doorbell nothing so the expectation got hurt and that turned into ego and then he goes inside himself and he saw there is a sage sitting in deep meditation and he made some sound in front of the sage to wake him up but the sage was really in deep meditation he didn't hear so this this ego of the king turned into anger and took took over the head of king and the anger is telling king that this sage is not meditating he is trying to insult you he is just enacting samadhi when anger comes only chant mantras do not react emotionally physically or mental whichever way om namo bhagavate vasudeva this is the mantra when you get angry write it down in your notebook om namo bhagavate vasudeva it has to be repeated silent you see the fort of our teeth and tongue inside silently repeat it anger will go but king can do this but you just see that such a normal situation is there but how complicated is going to be just in few seconds so he saw there was a dead snake he put it through the tip of his sword in the neck of the sage like a garland and ran away from there and he comes to his palace on the desk he puts his crown and he just suddenly he saw that from that crown one faces smiling 
laughing the king says who are you the face says i am ego i am the age of fight ego o king you are not bad but i was sitting on your head and i influenced your decision to put that serpent in the neck of sage you are not wrong but i influenced you so similarly the human being has no faults today but the surrounding is difficult there is a time where water is polluted air is polluted in this pollution you are thinking of doing yoga this is miraculous ninth wonder in this polluted state we can walk straight and do samadhi and meditation this is ninth wonder cannot be more of an achievement so king repent repented he is repenting his action just for a glass of water i did this and ego started laughing he is repenting king now the sage is sitting in deep meditation he does not know about a snake in 5 minutes this small child comes looks at a snake in father's neck and gets very angry and he says that i curse that the same snake will come alive seventh day from now and burn the body of king that very moment sage's eye opened and he said whom did you curse so he said king parikshit so father said that this is not right you cannot curse the king because king is somebody who punishes everybody you cannot punish the king the second thing this act is not of wisdom a wise act would be that every action is being replied with folded hands with peace so there is no more account of give and take father is teaching his son somebody praises you fold your hand and somebody criticizes you fold your hand four times but anyway the curse was on and king parikshit came to know he has only 7 days in his physical life drastic news just like a patient you know somewhere hurts i have so many days in my life or whatever so many drastic situations come in people's lives but king did not get angry he did not say that i am going to die but i am going to kill this sage first he didn't say that he didn't feel that way he didn't feel this way that whatever i have not seen this life seven days are let me have a world tour so many things i have not eaten let me go to vienna have a zakha chocolate cake miss if you are not going to vienna and you did not have chocolate cake <clears throat> that is a miss so he did not think about any of these worldly things he said to himself that i have seven days at least let me know what is the meaning of this life so he left his palace he he left all the glitter and glamour and very sober attire he was just like a ttc t-shirt and sober attire he came out of the palace and went towards the city of haridwar rishikesh by the ganges that's where is there's a city of rishikesh above haridwar and in that by the ganges there is a sphere a space called muni ki reti the sand where the sages are muni ki reti so national geographic this magazine ran a cover story the highest spiritual energy on the earth and on the cover that muni ki reti is space what is the picture and the scientifically they because every article is very researched national geographic you can find on internet the muni ki reti highest spiritual energy so king is walking towards the sphere he is asking sir i only have seven days in my life what is my proper duty what is the meaning of life but nobody could answer so he went on hunger strike he is not eating he is not drinking because he wants to know suddenly one sage called shukdev age 16 years 
all knower and he is passing by and he looks in the crowd there so many interesting people are sitting so he asks topic of discussion well this is the king this is the question so sage shukdev says i will answer him so he sits down on the dais whole crowd sits down main listener king parikshit in the front so sage shukdev looks at the king and he says that i heard you have, you got a curse on your body only 7 days are you scared of losing your body so king said no my question is not that please tell me a trick or something miracle so i do not lose my body is not my question aaya hai so jayega tu socho abhimani king is saying whatever has come in is ready to go out also again to come in my question is not this my question is also not this how can i undo what i did how can i bring back that snake which i put in the neck of sage i learned something from my past and bond the rest i learned from my past king says my question is also not that how tomorrow is going to decorate me is also not my question i have total surrender to time i have total faith in the mechanism of time that whatever it will bring it will bring for the well being of everybody it's very necessary to have a spiritual eye because if you go and you ask experts experts educated experts sir can you tell me what will happen economically geologically politically this will this will that way which how it will happen nobody can answer but you ask a spiritual what will happen sir tomorrow he will say i also don't know but this much i am sure whatever will happen will happen for the well being of you and me both because time is only bringing correction time is only bringing answers time is only bringing uh, purification time is only healing and nurturing anything not working you give time 5 minutes 10 minutes of silence don't do anything within 10 minutes answer will come if one can fast on water for days the whole life scripture will come in front of his eyes but you have to ask a doctor you can do or not four days fast on water because the wisdom is inside the other things are not letting it come up but time brings it up so time is there we have to fast a little bit the time is there we have to be by ourselves by our soul a little bit nurture healing answer purification and repair of the situation this this is the philosophy of time so king says i have faith in time my question is that this moment in the present how to decorate this this is my question varyaneshate prashnah grado lokahitam dripa आत्मसम्मत वंसा श्रोतव्यादिषु यो सेज सैट ओ किंग दिस इज अूनिक क्वेश्चन इज इन्वॉल्व इज इन्वॉल्विंग प्रेजेंट इट डज नॉट हैव द बर्डन ऑफ द पास्ट एंड द फ्यूचर दिस इज इट सेल्फ इज डेकोरेशन दिस इज फ्रीडम यू फॉर गेट फॉर वन मिनट फ्रॉम वे यू कैम वे विल यू गो more freedom forget what is your name total freedom just forget how you look in the mirror from today till the end of the ttc don't look in the mirror do it from with freedom from name and form freedom from name and form the scripture will reveal itself more 100 times more but if we are in 
the bondage of name and form and trying to learn a script a scripture the scripture is little far soul is little far tasmad bharat sarvatma bhagwan ishwaro hari shotavy kirtitavy ascha smartavy shechata bhayam listen to the book of bhagavatam listening to the book of bhagavatam will invoke love consciousness up and they will come and love consciousness will look at the moment the love con- the behavior of love consciousness is acceptance as it is acceptance and if there is something lacking serve the situation and make it better love consciousness but this scripture called bhagavatam will do it automatically shuyatam shuyatam keep on listening keep on listening every day because sadhana on daily basis pranayam every day, asan you know this discourse every day why because every day the situation in a person's life changed yesterday's discourse was for yesterday and today's discourse for today every day it's changing we need a changed advice <laughs> and a scripture is that calculation endless it adopts to your change hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram ram ram, 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 ram hare hare how to decorate the present moment let love look at it not ego listen to the book of bhagavatam so very important question of how to decorate the present moment let love look at i'll pause for tonight and continue the discussion tomorrow before sleeping you meditate upon this jay jay sri radhe bolo aaj ke anand ke ले चल बरली पार सवरिया ले चल सवरिया ले चल बरली पार सनैया ले चल सहित मन तेरे अर्पण बुद्धि सहित मन मैं तेरे चरणों की दासी मैं तेरे ओ मैं तेरे चरणों की दासी मैं तेरे चरणों की ओ तू मेरा प्राण आधार कन्हैया
शरम सब को बैठी हूँ लाज शरम सब मैं तेरी अब हो बैठी हूँ मैं तेरी अब सावरिया में तेरी रागिनी सावरिया में और तू मेरा राग मल्हार सावरिया ने चल बदली और सावरिया ने चल जय राधे 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 जय राधे 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 राधे
राधे राधे राधे राधे गोविंद भज मन राधे 